Hi, I'm Sylvie, the artist behind Carter Arts. Today I'm going to give an introduction to painting with pencils. I'm using the polychromous and also the Caran d'Ache luminance. The paper that I'm using is Stonehenge, not from the pad but the individual sheets that I have cut down to measure. Don't rush the drawing of your apple but don't uh, worry if it's not uh, too exact because no fruit is the same. First I am placing a few layers of uh, yellow. This will come through the red. I'm in Sydney today. I've uh, visited my daughter who's the technologically inclined person to help me with this video but uh, she's at work today so I am having a go on my own and she will check me up when she comes back so let's hope I do this right a little bit nervous about it and yes I'm at the home of the bumblebee the yellow I used for this is the cadmium yellow um, I think it's 105 uh, from the polychromos um, I also use now and then uh, a little bit of um, the lemon yellow. Probably um, do three, three layers, maybe four. Uh, very, very gently. Use a very, very light touch. It's better to have more layers than just one with a hard touch. Sharpen your pencil frequently. You need to have a very, very fine point so as to get uh, within the ridges of the paper that will make for good blending at the end of the job. Pencil is a very slow medium but there you are you can uh, sit down listen to beautiful music and just zone out and go into a happy place. Some artists like to uh, layer one part of their work and um, blend it and finish it and then do the next part and so forth. I myself prefer to put layers upon layers upon layers and see the overall look of my work rather than do parts. Although sometimes I will do it depending on the artwork that I am creating. Especially when I do cuts, I like to finish the eyes first and then... Um, do the first second. For the stem I also use some of the browns. I've actually used a number of colours, the red violet, the brown ochre, the burnt amber. Just do your strokes following the natural line of the apple. Spent about um, two and a half hours doing the apple, not to mention the second apple, where I spent just about the same time. Now just starting layering the red, I've used um, the scarlet red 118 and the 219, the deep scarlet red, as well as, I've used quite a few pencils there, the pink Carmine uh, 127 and the Alison Crimson 226. I used um, the light cadmium red 117, the cadmium orange 111 and the Pompeii red 191. Luminance pencil that I use are the uh, permanent red one, uh, 061, the lemon yellow 240 and the what is it? Coraline or something? Uh, Cor Cor Cornelian 850 and of course the white which is very opaque and that's number one. Now I've had a slight technical problem I finished the apple and hadn't realized that um, I was no longer filming so 
I start it again <laughs> and draw another apple. <laughs> so you will see that the shape of this apple is actually different. One of the reasons I like pencil uh, pencils are because you can be very precise and you can achieve photorealism. You can carry them anywhere. If you're out and about and you see something that you would like to draw, um, you can just pull your pencil out and there you are. You're set. No mess, except for the shaving, of course. It's fantastic. Love the pencils. I started um, pencil about a year and a half ago, 18 months ago. I learned from a lady um, called uh, Belinda Lacart from uh, the Central Coast. And I've been addicted since. Pencil work is very addictive. I've done about 15 layers using the yellows and the uh, reds and orange. For this exercise, I have done about 15 layers of um, yellows and reds following the natural curve of the apple. And uh, to apply the dark marking of the apple, I uh, use the Kraplak Mada 142. I hope I said that right. And the Red Violet uh, 194. I'm reaching the end of my layers in this segment and I'm about to blend. You'll notice I leave a, an area white, I don't touch it. I will cover that over with the blending solvent and make it less dark. If you want to see more of my art, visit my Instagram and uh, Carter underscore arts or my Facebook under Carter Arts. You may also visit Redbubble if you are interested in any print or merchandise. I'm blending using a uh, filbert brush uh, and the Art Spectrum Odorless Solvent. Sometimes I use Zested. Et voilà my two apples. Thanks for watching. Until next time, au revoir. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start that again, shall we?